August 27th, 2011, over 3,000 dignitaries, celebrities, and members of the general public gathered at the prestigious Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, USA to attend the global premiere of a special musical, The Real Love. This Broadway Hollywood-style production was brought together by the two-time Oscar-winning composer and lyricist Al Kasha. With great admiration for Supreme Master Ching Hai and her poems, Mr. Kasha invited world-class artists to take part in the show using Master's touching poems as lyrics for the musical. Providing a glimpse of Master's real-life story in her youth, the real love will leave you deeply moved by the extraordinary sacrifices our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai has made in order to search for the spiritual truth to uplift humankind. Among the many stars were the award-winning actress Joanna Ampill, Tony winners Daisy Egan and Katie Huffman, and Tony nominees Adam Pascal and Robert Doherty. The legendary American singer-songwriter Don McLean also graced the stage performing his greatest hits such as American Pie and I Love You So, Vincent, Starry Starry Night, and more. This star-studded show was broadcast live globally and hosted by veg actors Grant Alexander, Elaine Henricks, Christine Bauer, Haley Marie Norman, and Ed Begley Jr. Joining remotely online was the guest of honor, Supreme Master Ching Hai. Now, with great honor, we invite you to experience the magic of the real love through our series of programs. Let's start with part one. Now on the red carpet, we have Trent Kowalik and Carol Coolish. Both were Tony winners for Billy Elliot, the musical. Emmy yes. winner, Faith Rivera, one of the main singers in the show. Well, I think it's perfect that it's a very hot day <laughs> because it, it means that the warmth of this entire event, Supreme Master Ching Hai, is just, it's present here. Grammy winner, singer Florence LaRue from The Fifth Dimension. On the red carpet, Emmy nominated actress of Lazy Town, Juliana Rose. I'm really excited. I love musicals, every kind. I just love them all. <laughs> I just think it's going to be magical. Now, approaching the red carpet, we have Golden Globe and Grammy nominee, songwriter and actor Frank Stallone from Rocky. I'm looking forward to hear Don and just all the other people. I'm a big fan of musicals, and I always have been. Two-time Oscar-nominated songwriter and singer, Carol Connors. I know Shirley Jones is a very dear friend. A few of my partners that I have been writing with, Bill Conti, David Shire, Al Kasha, they're very much involved, and, and I'm a big fan. We'd love to invite the cast and the crew to come down there one day and, and provide some entertainment for us as well in our city. It's a story just of beauty and love. And I'm very much... Uh, behind the vegetarian activism and everything of the Supreme Master. And, uh, you know, I'm very anxious to see uh, the musical. To be able to be a part of it is, 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 was gift enough. And I'm very, very blessed. Well, I'm bowled over by the talent that they have here. All the, the Grammys and Academy Awards and Emmys uh, connected to the names that they've got involved in this production. It's We're all excited. We've been working really hard to uh, get the show together in a very short period of time. I'm very honored to be playing Tan. Supreme Master Ching Hai. She is so beautiful what she writes, and it's in it inspires music. We've been rehearsing all week, and it's a terrific play. Betty Buckley, um, Daisy Egan from um, Secret Garden, all the Broadway stars are exciting. And now on the red carpet, we have three-time Emmy Award-winning filmmaker, Carrie Brown. I 
excited. I, I have met the Supreme Master. The words and the music and the way that's presented is what I'm looking forward to. And now one of the celebrity MCs, Kristen Bauer from True Blood. And from the city of Walnut, the Honorable Mayor Pro Tem, Mary Sue. I saw every Broadway musical there was, so I have a feeling this is going to uh, be a big, big success. Happy anniversary. I know it's five years, and I hope it's 500 more. Congratulations on your fifth anniversary, Master Chain High, and, and you're a wonderful woman, and you have a great message to give to the world for music and peace. Hello, Mommy Heart. I love you. It's Marco Antonio Rahil from Mexico, and uh, wishing Supreme Master TV and all the team a uh, happy, happy fifth birthday and the many, many years to go, promoting veganism and promoting a compassionate lifestyle. Congratulations to five great years and keep it up. Film star Michael Lerner. Congratulations to Supreme Master TV on your fifth anniversary. Be veg, go green to save the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supreme Master Television's fifth anniversary. Please welcome Ed Bakley Jr. and Elaine Hendricks. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to Supreme Master Television's fifth anniversary celebration. We're broadcasting live right now. We are delighted to have you here today as we celebrate this global channel based in Los Angeles and their five years of constructive programs for a peaceful world. And for a cleaner planet. Yes. So welcome, everyone. Welcome. I'm Elaine Hendricks, and this gentleman, <clears throat> whom we all know and love, is Ed Begley, Jr. Indeed. A six-time Emmy Award nominee, he's got his own acclaimed show, Living with Ed, co-starring with his lovely wife, Rochelle. Many of you remember him as Dr. Victor Elrich from the long-running series, Saint Elsewhere, but you know, you can clap for Saint Elsewhere. Some people there go back to before there were talkies. Yes, you remember that show. The old kinescopes, you've seen them. Uh, in color, too, if I remember. Yes, yes some okay, of them were in color. Yes. But you know, Ed is also famous for turning up at Hollywood events on his bicycle. Bike riders, we got bike riders out here. All right, we got some bike riders. That's what you'd call a celebrity green carpet. Ed Begley Jr. is known for his advice on going green, but he never preaches, and he walks the walk 100% with his low-carbon vegan diet. Okay, let's give him a round of applause for that. Thank you. And Elaine, you're a vegetarian yourself, are you not? I am, indeed. Good for the planet, it's good for animals. And it's good for your health. I have the pleasure of introducing now, tit for tat, my co-host and actress, Elaine Hendricks. Big hand for her. As you can see, she is beautiful inside and out. She's also brilliantly funny on Disney's The Parent Trap, Inspector Gadget 2, What the Bleep Do We Know, and Joan of Arcadia. I love those shows, big hands. Her greatest passion is off-screen working for the humane treatment of animals, rolling up her sleeves alongside local rescue groups. She says that acting is her livelihood and animals are her life. Elaine also believes in maintaining a healthy balance of workplace, spirituality, and shopping. Isn't she fabulous? <laughs> Why, thank you, Ed. And you know, Ed, uh, I like the theme of the talks you give across the country, and that's live simply so others can simply live. Well, I'm happy to say that also happened to be a message that Supreme Master Television supports all the time and through this event. Supreme Master Television does a responsible job as media. Now, we're pleased to have in the audience many VIP guests among us, including government dignitaries and celebrities. Most specifically, we are excited to have our guest of honor, Supreme Master Ching Hai. She 
is the inspiration of this television channel and fortunately is available to be part of our celebration. She will be watching the show via video link and will be joining us a little later today. We look forward to the opportunity to speak with her. Now, before we begin the entertainment program, we're going to invite a special speaker to the stage who would like to send a salute to Supreme Master Television on their anniversary. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome State Senator Curran Price of California and a representative of Supreme Master Television. Good afternoon. I'm State Senator Curran Price, and I bring you greetings from the 26th Senate District and from my colleagues in the California State Legislature. In the State Senate, I also have the pleasure and the honor of chairing the Joint Committee on the Arts. And so I support and I applaud events like this. And we're especially pleased to be here uh, this afternoon uh, to celebrate Supreme Master Television, real example of what entrepreneurship uh, and commitment and professionalism can mean. Uh, and the benefits. It's possible to do well and to do good. And so I'm just very pleased and excited on behalf of my colleagues uh, to present a accommodation and certificate of recognition to Supreme Master Television. Thank you very much. In honor of your fifth anniversary, thank you for your commitment to constructive news and programs that foster peace and promote healthy and green living. I wish you continued success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, State Senator Curran Price uh, and our wonderful representative, Supreme Master Television. Now I'd like to introduce Haley Marie Norman and Grant Alexander, our co MCs of today's event. Everyone. Please allow me to introduce uh, this lovely co-host of mine. This is Haley Marie Norman. <laughs> Haley has had quite a career since she was a kid. She was chosen from thousands of young children to be the face of the African-American Barbie doll. Uh, you also may recognize her from the game show Deal or No Deal, where she was the enormously popular briefcase model number 25. Now a regular in Hollywood, she will always stop whatever she's doing to answer her fans on Twitter, particularly if they want to ask her cool questions about her vegan diet. And I have the pleasure of introducing my handsome co-host, Grant Alexander, who is a longtime vegetarian himself and so inspiring to me. And he's also the recipient of four Emmy nominations, plus the Soap Opera Digest Award. He's best known for starring as Philip Spaulding in Guiding Light. He's a true actor I really admire. Grant earns even more respect as an animal advocate who rescues animals at his own home with his equally awesome wife, Sherry Ramsey. And Sherry happens to be an attorney with the Humane Society of the United States. I'm clapping for my wife. My wife is the hero in our family. She's, she's out there every day stopping animal cruelty. And now, we'd like to ask Ed to come back on stage to introduce The Real Love Musical with vegetarian actress Kristen Bauer. The Real Love is special in so many ways, and here to help me tell more about it is my gorgeous co-host, Kristen Bauer. Thank you. Thank you. Kristen Bauer Van Stratton is best known for a role as the bold and spicy Pam in the HBO hit series True Blood. Anybody ever watch that? Real life, Kristen is passionate about her role as a defender of animals. Having loved nature and animals all her life, she made it her personal mission to rescue them from exploitation, often teaming up with charities, and sometimes proudly joining forces with her wonderful husband, the South African musician, Aubrey Van Stratton. Now, Kristen is one plant-strong vegetarian, so anyone who dares to ever think about harming an animal had better watch out. <laughs> I'm happy to be here today. I think that both the event and the musical just have so much heart. I agree. And speaking of heart, the Real Love Musical was inspired by a true love story in Munich in the 70s. A young woman named Tan from Olak, which is Vietnam, and a handsome German doctor fell in love and are happily married. But soon, Tan must make a difficult decision to either hold on to her own blissful life 
or give it up for a higher calling, for a happiness that she could share with all of humankind. And Supreme Master Ching Hai's private, intimate poems that she wrote as she went through this experience breathe life into this new musical. We'll follow the main character. She travels all alone to India. The musical actually tells only part of the story. The entire story of Supreme Master Ching Hai and her journey in the Himalayas is truly a very interesting and long epic, more that can be told in one musical alone. The experiences in the story are basically true. They just show one person's journey in fulfilling a dream that we all have somewhere inside, a longing to know our true self and reconnect with God within us. Well, fortunately nowadays, we don't have to travel far to find our inner treasure, because no matter where we are, we all have the divine spark of unconditional love within us, especially my dogs. <laughs> Especially your dog. Right, I don't know if I do sometimes, but I know no, my dogs do. do. I know her. She does. When Supreme Master Ching Hai sees your smiling faces, she sees gods and goddesses. And it's good for all of us to remember that we can be loving, kind, and compassionate. And one of the ways that I try to do that is a vegetarian diet, which lends respect and peace to our fellow beings. Absolutely true. Big hand for that. With rare exceptions such as today's gathering, Supreme Master spends most of her days and nights meditating for world peace, trying to awaken people from within to return to their original loving self. She had vowed to do so years ago to contribute to world peace, and so remains her single-minded wish till this very moment that one day soon we will all live in heaven on earth. That'd be amazing. <laughs> What we're about to see is just a glimpse of the incredible journey, the incredible saga that took place. The musical begins with a spectacular feature song performance with music by Tony and Emmy Award winner Don Pippen. The song will feature a handful of guest stars that you will surely recognize. I saw them backstage. You will recognize them. <laughs> In order of appearance, they are Broadway's Tony-winning legend, Betty Buckley. Wow. Uh, yep. Oscar-winning Shirley Jones from Carousel and the Partridge Family. The charming soprano Lynn Wintersteller. Trent Kowalik is a Tony-winning star of Billy Elliot the Musical. Philippa Giordano, Italian pop classical star. Tony-winning Billy Elliot star Curl Coolish. Emmy-winning singer Faith Rivera and noted theater and screen actor Tom Schmidt, and they'll be joined by the Real Love Chorus and Orchestra. And after that grand piece, the actual musical begins, starring Joanna Ampel, an award-winning actress. Yeah, big hand for Joanna, come on. <laughs> A singer from London's West End, Tony nominee Adam Pascal, who was in the original cast of Rent, Adam. They're joined by Tony Award winner Daisy Egan, Tony Award winner Katie Huffman, and Tony nominee Robert Torty. It's an impressive cast, and you're also going to spot Dick Van Patten playing Tan's in-law. Now, these are some incredible voices we'll be hearing this afternoon, along with some great dancing and live music by the 20-piece orchestra. Right down here, these wonderful musicians. And Kristen, the songs, I'm told, are absolutely gorgeous, just like you. <laughs> oh, Ed. Um, I met Ed in one of my first acting jobs. This is so awesome for me to be here. she's still speaking to me. <laughs> Extraordinary. Five great American composers that have contributed to the music for the real love after being inspired by Supreme Master Ching Hai and her example of compassion. And at this point, we would like to invite the composers to stand. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished composers of the Real Love musical are two-time Oscar winner, Al Kasha. Right there, Al Kasha. Emmy nominee, Doug Katsaros. Doug, thank Doug. you for coming. Thank you, Doug. Tony and Emmy winner, Don Pippen, please stand. A man I know and love, Oscar and two-time Grammy winner, David Shire, please say hello. A man I greatly revere also, Oscar, five-time Emmy winner, Bill Conti, is not able to be present, conveyed his well wishes. He's not here, but we love him. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now, without further ado, please enjoy the world premiere of The Real Love. Spiritual viewers, 
We appreciate your company today for The Real Love, a musical that unites hearts, part one of a multi-part series. Please join us again next Thursday, May 27th, for part two.